Hi, we are Team Piston Head. We're currently enrolled in Professor Artin Davidian's General Engineering 101 course here at East Los Angeles College for the spring semester of 2016. Today we'll be presenting our Sterling Engine final project. I'm Team Leader and my name is David Solorzano. My name is Miguel Avalos. My name is David Ramirez. I'm Alexander Gondalas. And I'm Solorzano. To start out, we will be talking about our components for our gamma steering engine. Right here we have the top base. Over here we have the crankshaft, which connects back to the top base. Over here we have the connecting rod, which connects to the crankshaft. Over here we have our flywheel, which connects to the crankshaft. The bottom base is a, our piston cylinder. Our piston is made out of steel wool, two can lids, and a spoke. This spoke connects back to the connecting rod. The bottom base also has a hole for the PVC pipe that connects to the diaphragm. The diaphragm connects to the spoke that connects back to the crankshaft. We will now be turning on our starting engine. As our heat source warms up the air within the cylinder, the air begins to expand, pushing the piston up. This in turn makes the, the crankshaft rotate via the connecting rod. As the, the crankshaft rotates, it also makes the, the diaphragm work in that it is pumping the cool air in and out from the diaphragm to the, to the cylinder. This is known as the starting cycle. Now we will be doing the efficiency test for our Sterling engine. As I remove the heat source from our Sterling engine, the reciprocating motion generated by the piston begins to slow down. And as I reintroduce our heat source back into our engine, the rotational motion kicks back up to its original speed. Here we have our eight-cylinder engine, which is designed in a similar fashion as our single engine. Uh, we do have to make a few modifications in order for it to run. Instead of using a 90 degree elbow PVC pipe, we have to use a T-shaped pipe in order to push air into two pistons instead of one. And our diaphragm is designed in a much larger form factor in order to displace more air. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Thank you. 